Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I'm Sean from Visible Dark, and today we're going to take a look at game, a game changer in amateur astronomy, and that is this uh, little guy here, the ZWO C-Star Smart Telescope. The C-Star Telescope isn't just any telescope, it's a smart telescope designed to make stargazing accessible and enjoyable for beginners and also seasoned amateur astronomers. The C-Star boasts an intuitive design that's both technically advanced and user-friendly. With its smart tracking capabilities, this advanced little smart telescope can locate and track objects in the night sky. It makes your stargazing session seamless and enjoyable. One of the standout features of the ZWO telescope is its connectivity. Through a dedicated app, you can control the telescope using a smartphone or a tablet. Whether you're looking to capture amazing photos of the moon and its craters, or you want to check out deep sky objects that you've never looked at before, the Sea star makes it as easy as tapping the screen. If you're worried about complicated setups, don't be. The Sea star actually is really simple to use. In fact, it's been designed for ease of use. Setting it up is a breeze, and its portability means you can use it in the backyard or take it with you on vacation. One thing I'd like to point out is the ZWO C-Star Smart Telescope is not just a toy. It's not just about having fun. It's an actual educational tool. It comes with features that help beginners learn about astronomy in the night sky, making it great for schools, astronomy clubs, and even family nights under the stars. Now, as I said, it comes with an app that you can control the C-Star through your phone or a tablet. Let's have a quick look at that. So this is the C-Star app that can be ran on your phone or your tablet. I'm running it on a tablet here. Um, it has uh, some various information available to us up front. Uh, the moon phase, and it also, based on your location, has uh, weather available um, that you can expect. We're going to be getting some clear skies tonight, which is fantastic. Um, it's got various options. Stargazing option would allow you access to the uh, deep sky objects that you might want to look at, like M42 or M31 in this case. M45 is showing. These are tonight's best. Um, I'll get to that in a second. So it's got the stargazing option, which allows you to uh, basically tap, select an object, and the sea star will slew and track the object and take uh, images of the object for you to see on, on the tablet or your phone. It also has the solar option, which is for solar imaging. The Sea star comes with a solar filter that has to be placed on the front of the lens in order to do safe solar viewing. Never look at the sun directly or through a telescope without proper solar filters. It has a lunar option as well, which allows you to, uh, when the moon is up, um, the Sea star will uh, slew, locate the moon for you, center it, and uh, you, you can start viewing the moon in real time and uh, take images of it, take photos of it too. Uh, planetary is also an option in the Sea star app. So you can take, uh, you can look at Jupiter or Saturn, say, as an example, and you can take some images. I'm not entirely sold on the planetary imaging capability of the sea star it has a short focal length which means it's very it's a it's a wider field so the planets don't look they look farther away um, than a longer focal length telescope would give you usually when you're doing planetary imaging you're using a long focal length telescope to do that the sea star will allow you to image take photos of the planets so you should you know you'll be able to see a couple of uh, belts on jupiter say or you know the rings of saturn that but it's not going to be um, a very big, big view of it, a very, very big image, uh, unfortunately. Uh, and that's just due to the, the, the short focal length of the Sea Star. Nonetheless, it is there and uh, it is fun to do, especially if you're looking at a, uh, you know, another planet in our solar system um, in real time. That's pretty cool. Also has a scenery option available to it. Uh, so the scenery option allows you to basically terrestrial uh, looking around and uh, imaging photos, taking photos. So you can take photos of, uh, of birds, squirrels, uh, uh, flowers, whatever you want to, to look at terrestrial wise. Uh, it has tonight's best. So based on your location, it will show you the best objects that are available to view. Gives you a list of them here. And this is really simple to use. You, you simply just uh, tap on the object that you want to look at. So in this case here, I've got the Orion Nebula selected that we want to look at. And uh, you click go, go, go Gazing at the bottom here. You click that. And the Sea Star will slew and locate the Orion Nebula for you. And it'll start taking images of it that you'll be able to see the Orion Nebula live on the tablet or on your phone.
I can't do it right now because it's it's daytime when I'm filming this, but uh, that's how it works. And it does that for the other objects too. So M42 was like that. M45, the Pleiades is another popular target. Um, again, same idea. You just basically click and the C-Star will slew to the object, locate it, center it, and uh, start taking images of it for you to see in real time on your screen. Now, when you're in the stargazing mode and you're on an object, a deep sky object, say like M45, um, it has the deep sky stacking option, which allows you to take images, many images, and stack them into one image. And that stacking will actually make the object look brighter and better and more clear as well. So there is an option to do that as well. And you can, when, when the sea star is taking images, when it's locked on to a deep sky object taking images, so say of M45, I can actually go in and I can actually add the images that it's taken and stack them together to make a stacked image that looks a lot brighter, a lot more clear, and a lot more colorful. So let's talk about what you get with the Sea Star Smart Telescope. You get optics, which are the equivalent of a small refractor, basically. You get a camera that's built into it. You get a filter wheel that's built in. You get a narrow band filter for doing deep sky objects that are emission nebulas, as example. You also, it also comes with a clear UV IR filter that uh, is for broadband objects. So uh, visible light versus narrow band light. Uh, it has an autofocuser built into it. it. Comes with a mount and a tripod. That's included. It has a computer controller in there. It's a, an ASI Air actually that's in there. Uh, that technology it has a carrying case that's included. It's lightweight. It's portable. No wires. Easy setup. All for five hundred dollars. If you bought the equivalent in terms of an astrophotography rig. Um, you would be spending well over $2,000, $2,500 or more uh, for something like that. So the Sea Star for $500 gives you a really good value. So whether you're a novice looking to start your astronomy journey or you're an experienced astronomer looking for something convenient in a smart telescope, the ZWO Sea Star is definitely one to look at. Its blend of technology, ease of use, and educational value makes it a really standout smart telescope. And for $500, you really can't go wrong. Thanks very much for joining me, folks. Really appreciate it. If you're interested in more information on the ZWO Sea Star Smart Telescope, please visit my website, visibledark.ca, where I have a review written about it. Thanks very much. Keep looking up and let the stars inspire you. Clear skies.